Hey guys, Spino Dude here, and today I'm back for an unboxing video of this. This comes all the way from Russia, from Alexander, who is the owner of the Prey Collection. Now, if you remember, not too long ago on the channel, he sent us over his beautiful Dunkelostius resin kit model, and this is the second model in his collection that he so kindly sent to us. So thank you, Alexander, for sending this over. I cannot wait to take a look at what's inside. So without further ado, guys, why don't we open it up and see what he sent us. All right, so why don't we cut it open right about here. Let's make a little slit, and then I think we can just rip the rest off. There we go. Now this model took quite a long time to arrive to me. I'm not sure if it was a problem with the mail service over in Russia or if it was on my end. Um, but it finally arrived, which is all that matters now. Uh, but it did take about a month, which is quite a while. But for a new model from the Prey Collection, it is worth it. All right, here it is in the bubble wrap. Let's open it up and take a look at the actual box that the model is inside. All right, guys, here's the box out of the bubble wrap. Absolutely gorgeous work. I think it is pretty much the same as the Dunkelostius box in size and everything and style, but the only thing that's missing, which is interesting, is the creature's name is not included underneath the Prey Collection logo here. The Dunkelostius had its name and carved on the box as well. But I can't get over this collector's box. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it smells like it's pretty freshly stained as well. I also like the addition of this rope that's tying it together. It sort of looks like an animal shipping crate, which is pretty cool. So let's just snip the rope right here and right here. Actually, no, it's all one piece. Okay, so it can just slide out. Let's lift the cover off. There we go. Let's move the rope out of the way there. Here we go. We got more bubble wrap in here, which is containing the creature. And we have some baggies. Okay, so there's the base. Very nice addition to the baggies. And this must be the figure itself. Very nice. There's the metal rod. And there's the actual wooden base. And I think that's everything. So let's move all this off to the side for now. And let's, uh, let's open up the actual figure itself, the main part of the figure. All right, guys, here it is. If you didn't guess what it was already, it is his para helicoprian. And the sculpt is absolutely looking fantastic already. There's some shiny spots on here, though. Uh, looks a little bit odd. I'm gonna paint over this anyway, so that's not too much of a big deal, but yeah, this one looks great. Absolutely fantastic as usual. So let's put the whole thing together and uh, take a look at the figure itself completed. All right, here is the wooden base, beautifully done as always. I think this is the same base used for the Dunkelostius as well as this part of the base. Um, so we're probably not gonna take a closer look at that right now, we're just gonna focus on the figure itself. Here is the tiny bottom jaw of the Parahelicoprian, and if I take the main figure itself, uh, this is glued on afterwards underneath, just like so. Uh, it doesn't fit quite as snugly as in the Dunkelostius. I might just, oh, there it is. There's the sweet spot right there. Okay, I was just putting it up a little bit too high. Yeah, but that gets glued on right there and actually sits quite nicely as well. But yeah, just look at this figure. And the great thing about this is that Helicoprian and Parahelicoprian really aren't acknowledged too much in figure form. And it's one of my favorite prehistoric sharks, and I think this is absolutely brilliant that he decided to make this so early into his uh, company as well. Yeah, but let's assemble the entire piece and take a look at it. All right, so we've got the wooden base here, and the metal rod goes right into it with the other part of the base. So this should just slide right through the hole in the center. Center. A little bit of a tight fit here. There we go. And that should just fit snugly on the base there. There we go. A little bit firm. It's good to know that it's nice and tight and it won't just slide around. And then there's a hole on the Parahelicoprian's stomach there. We just press that into the hole. It should slide right in nicely. And there we go. Now fully assembled just look at that. This is absolutely fantastic. I love how he's including these bases for the aquatic creatures especially. Absolutely brilliant. And once again, I'm really happy he decided to make Parahelicoprian, one of my favorite prehistoric sharks. And it's just so unique. And the pose and everything here just looks utterly fantastic. 
Uh, I can't wait to paint this one up, so stay tuned to the channel, guys. I will be doing a speed paint and showcase of it. I did do a drawing of helicopter, of parahelicoprian uh, recently, and I think I'm going to base the colors off of the drawing that I did. So stay tuned for that video coming up soon on the channel. Well, there we go, guys. That was today's unboxing video of the Prey Collection Para Helicoprian. Thank you so much to Alexander of the Prey Collection for sending this over to us on the channel. I cannot wait to paint it up and showcase it to you guys. So anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. Also, leave a comment telling me what you think of this Para Helicoprian model. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Take care and bye-bye.